Hey guys, so I have here my Sony headphones, the uh, WH-CH700N and for some reason I'm not able to turn these on anymore because just when you press the power on button it just doesn't power on anymore. So it's still able to uh, take a charge, so I can still charge the battery, everything seems to work fine that way, but I just can't normally turn them on anymore. So we want to take a look at what's going on here and how we can fix the problem that is underneath. Because behind this big button is actually a really tiny switch that is soldered onto the motherboard and that broke. Here's the replacement part that I'm going to use. So I ordered this already and I'm going to place a link below in the comment section. So in case you want to order your own switches then you can do that also. So we start out with the repair by removing the ear pad of the left ear cup. And this is really easy, you just kind of pull this here on the side, you kind of get grab a hold on it and you pull it up. And then you remove here this little lip that goes into that slot on the ear cup. And now we can see here the uh, driver and also four small holes and in there we find small Phillips screws. So we're going to remove all of those. Once all four screws are removed, we can now open up the ear cup, but we have to do this really carefully because there is still a wire going from the ear cup to the driver here. You see this here in the middle? So we don't want to rip this off by accident, so we just lift it off a little bit and then we are kind of rotating this uh, ear cup to the side. Okay, so next we're already going to see the motherboard. And this one is not screwed in, so in the top end you see this little clip here in the upper right corner. You're just going to lift it up a little bit and then the uh, motherboard already pops out by itself. And then when we look at the location where the on off switch is supposed to be then I see here only this little bit of plastic here and that used to be the switch so it completely fell apart. And now we only see a couple of open metal contacts here so if I try to uh, shorten this contact here so I'm going to shorten the center one with one of the sides and by doing so we can test out if the rest of the headphones are still working as they should. So you see here right now by just shortening those two contacts the headphones just turned on and if I shorten them again then they're going to turn off. So this way we know for certain that it's really only the switch that is broken here and nothing else is defective and so by replacing this switch and installing a new one we're going to be uh, able to use our headphones again. Now the easiest way to remove the old switch is by using here a little heat gun. I'm using that. I uh, just have to be careful not to melt the plastic case of the headphones. That actually happened to me and I accidentally melted that little clip that holds the motherboard in place. And next we're going to prepare the pads for the new switch. Just adding here some flux. And then I'm placing the new switch here into the correct position. And then next we take our soldering iron and start with one side. Uh, add some solder here to the two legs that are on the one side and then we're just going to repeat the same step here on the opposite side. And once we're done with that we're going to use some alcohol here to remove the excess flux since it is corrosive and it would damage the board over time. And now we can already start to reassemble everything. We put the motherboard here back in place, make sure that it's clipped into its correct position. And when we reattach the driver portion we have to make sure we align this right and have it also oriented correctly. You see here we have this L here that should be right on the top. And then of course we add all four screws back in. And then the last step is to reattach the ear pad. We just slip that little lip that you find on the ear pad and slide that into the slot of the ear cup. And then we're already done. Yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below and don't forget to like and subscribe.